things to do um, so this function works really good for uh, translations but zooming with an orthographic camera is not done by translating the camera it's done by changing the size of the camera as you can see so we're going to make another function called scale camera and this is going to take in a string axis and a float response so this is similar to the other other one below however we're going to set our move to our orthographic size because we want to be moving this guy which right now should be at 5. Uh, and we're going to make a speed, which is just going to equal our input dot axis. And our move is going to be plus equals our speed. times our response and then we're going to go camera dot ortho graphic size and that's going to equal move okay and then because we don't want to have to hold down the mouse button and scroll we're just going to leave this guy outside of the uh, if condition and just scale our camera when whenever the user uh, scrolls the mouse wheel and this thing is called mouse scroll wheel and it is case sensitive so make sure you actually type it uh, with capital letters and we're just going to pass in five for now for the response so now if you play, we can scroll in and out, we can move it around, however we can still go out of bounds, so the next thing we're going to do is fix that. So this is going to require a little bit of math. Um, let's go ahead and make a public transform called a map. And so our map is going to be this quad. And we're going to use E scale to determine how big our map is. Okay, um, so we're going to need some variables. A min x min or a max x. We're going to need a min y and a max y and we're going to need a min z and a max z so these are going to act as our bounds and we're also going to want a vector 3 sensitivity okay and we're just going to initialize this guy And so when we were passing in 5, we're just going to replace this with sensitivity.x, sensitivity.y, and sensitivity.z. Okay. So, in start, we need to grab our extents, which are, in a sense, just this white bounding box. Um, so we have a horizontal one or we have a vertical one first for extents. 
which this one is just our camera dot orthographic size. And then we have our horizontal one, which is our vertical extent times our aspect ratio. And the aspect ratio can be gotten by screen dot width divided by screen dot height. So that gives us our extents. And now we need to use these extents to determine our min and max. So min x is equal to our horizontal extent minus our um, right, we need our map heights. Um, so just for convenience, we're gonna have a map x which is just going to equal map dot transform dot uh, scale dot x and we're going to have a map y equals map dot transform dot local scale dot y so this guy is going to be minus map x divided by 2 um, so this will take our map divided by 2 which would give us 50 and minus our hor and our horizontal extent will be subtracted from that and so it will be somewhere right about here <laughs>